Okay, awesome. So uh, welcome to the uh, arguably least useful and most fun presentation of this year. Um, I developed a, a knock implementation inside of Minecraft, and uh, I don't think I have to explain to anyone in this audience uh, what a knock is or why you would want one. But, you know, obviously, it's pretty common for anyone who's monitoring infrastructure to have some kind of a uh, physical space and often with large displays on the walls that are showing all your critical metrics and information about the stuff that's being monitored. So uh, in this age of coronavirus and we can't get together physically, uh, you know, we moved Dev Jam into Minecraft and we thought, why not just do the same thing with a monitoring center? So uh, here is a virtual operations center implemented in Minecraft. So just a little bit about the environment. Um, we've got our Minecraft server, obviously. It's running in Amazon, um, and it's running this plugin that we developed called Minecraft Knock. Um, we've pointed that at uh, OpenNMS and uh, Grafana instance, which are monitoring a bunch of live infrastructure, which you can see over there on the right. So all the, all the monitoring is the same stuff that we do in OpenNMS every day. You know, we've got minions. We've got SNMP stuff coming in, um, all of that. Uh, and the standard Grafana dashboards that we have in OpenNMS. Uh, so what the plugin does is it leverages some of the capabilities we have in our PDF reporting plugin uh, to fetch those dashboard images from Grafana and render them as PNGs. Uh, and it also leverages the REST interface um, to pull metrics out of the different APIs that are exposed through that, most notably the measurements API, which is the one I'm mostly using. Uh, because that allows me to query all kinds of interesting stuff from RRD. Uh, so the whole thing is basically driven by a very simple configuration file, which is installed with the plugin jar on our Minecraft server. Um, so we've defined the base URL uh, for the Grafana instance, including the path to the, um, uh, the standalone image rendering. Uh, we have to tell it what dashboard we're going to be pulling from, so that's in there as well. And we've had to generate an API key, which authorizes the plugin to go and fetch images from Grafana. Um, obviously, I've sanitized that stuff because I don't want you having my API key, but uh, this is basically all you need. Uh, we've also defined the PNG width and height to the size of a Minecraft map, which is 128 by 128 pixels. Um, at some point in the future, I'd really like to expand this to tile across multiple maps and, ha and have bigger graphs, but for now we just have a single little square one. On the metrics side, again, we've just defined the base URL to the REST implementation and an API key uh, to get the metrics. And then we've specified the update interval at which everything gets refreshed in the background. So this is a photo of the, um, a screenshot of the knock in action, but I'm gonna stop here and I'm gonna see if I can give you guys a live demo. So let me just switch from sharing this to my Minecraft game client. Are you guys able to see that? Yep. Okay, yep. awesome, awesome. So welcome to our virtual dev jam. And over here, we've secretly built a little knock space that nobody can really get to. You can see it says operations center. And if we go in here, here's our live implementation of the stuff that I just talked about. So the, the left side of it, we've got two maps, which are rendering graphs showing the traffic and load average of our, um, our YUM repository mirrors for the East US. And then next to that, we've got the same thing for the European ones. And then over here on the right, you can see the same metrics being pulled for the Minecraft server itself, actually. So this is the uh, traffic in and out, and then the load average of the Minecraft server. Uh, so those are the images that I'm pulling right off the Grafana dashboard that uh, Chris set up for me. And then we've also got a few metrics being displayed on signs. Um, so here I've got the TCP connection average on the Minecraft server over the past, I think it's two hours, uh, memory free. And then this stuff down at the bottom is the actual NMSO2 instance that we're getting all this monitoring data from. So we can also monitor all of that stuff and see the CPU usage and memory free. Um, so the plugin's written 
with a worker thread that updates all this stuff in the background. Uh, once a minute is what we define as the interval. Um, if we watch them long enough, you can actually see the values change, but it's probably not very interesting to sit here and stare at it. So I'll invite you to just go on the game and have a look yourself if you're interested. Um, and the other thing I'm going to show you is just how easy it is to set this stuff up. So uh, it's implemented in, after the claims. Uh, it's implemented in a really easy uh, to use way. So just by placing signs on the wall and then uh, running a couple of commands, we can set up a new metric. So I select the object with my stick, and you can see it says current block set. I'm just going to go cut and paste the URL. You just give me a second here. There we go. All right, so in order to add a metric, all I have to do is get metric. I'm going to give it my title sign. Uh, so we're going to call this load average. And then I give it the URL, which is the partial URL after the REST um, API that we defined in our config file. And this is uh, actually the node ID and um, SNMP for the 15 minute load average of the NMSO2 instance. And then I just need to give it a JSON pointer. Uh, and the JSON pointer is just a path through the returned response to pull out the value that we're interested in. So in this case, I'm going to do columns zero values 46, which I think is the most recent in the columns that get returned. And it will go and fetch the value. And there you go. We've got our load average um, for NMSO2. I'll just note, actually, that's actually in hundreds. So it's point two, three, it's not 23, um, but that's how easy it is to add something. Um, and to do the images, all we need is an item frame. So we'll just pop this up on the wall and then we need a map. So the images are all implemented as maps. You start with an empty map, you initialize it, it will get an ID. I can then put that map D6, which you can see shows us the view of the actual Minecraft world. We can put that into our item frame. And when I select that map the same way, do get PNG, all I'm really doing here is I'm just giving it the uh, ID of a Grafana panel, which is on that dashboard that we defined. So I can just say, get me panel number two, and it will go off and fetch that for us. And there you go. Now I've got my east mirror uh, showing traffic in and out. And these will just continue to update along with the other ones that we'd already defined. So that's how simple it is. Um, also the maps, you can take the maps off the wall. You can hold them in your hands and look at them up close. Uh, you can take these with you anywhere you want to go in the game world, and you'll still be able to see all of these graphs um, no matter what. So that is basically it. Uh, this is my knock implemented in Minecraft. Um, so let me just get back to our slideshow. Stop presenting. So there you go. It's my virtual world. <laughs>